let's get to know number six, Dance and Lou, whose big victories in 2019 include the Tattersalls and the Breeders' Crown. The son of Sweet Lou is driven by Andrew McCarthy and conditioned by Tawny Camilleri, who I had a chance to talk to on this important evening. Tawny, before we get into talking about your favorite subject, Dance and Lou, let's talk about you. All right, so first of all, I know you're not from Delaware and I know you're not even from the United States. So where are you from and then how did you get into racing? Okay, I'm from Queensland, um, Australia. And basically I've loved horses my whole entire life. Um, my family, um, due to family circumstances, had to relocate uh, to Sydney when I was a teenager. And there was a local harness racing track um, about a mile up the road and the rest is history, I guess. So you haven't been in America that long. So then how long have you been in the US? And then I wanna know, how did you get Dancing Lou? Okay, um, so I arrived in the US uh, August of last year and I've been here ever since. Last year actually, initially I came over for a few months, um, brought some horses over, sold them to get uh, an E1 visa, which is like a trader visa. It allows me to stay here long term, legally, which is always good. <laughs> and, uh, and, um, and I sold a horse, a mare, to Mr. Cryway. Um, at the start of the season, Mr. Cryway was looking for an American-based trainer um, to, to train his colt. And I was pretty much told, you know, a, a week or so before he arrived that they were going to send him to me. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad that they picked me. <laughs> now, uh, you can see, actually, um, the smile here is so genuine. And so I've seen it so many times this year and so happy to see it. So you have to tell me and the viewers, how much does this horse mean to you? Because we're talking, this is a horse that's won the Tattersalls, has won the Breeders' Crown. Here to the outside from in third is Dance and Lou, and they've got an eighth of a mile to go. Crown bragging rights on the line. Better's Wish is gonna have to dig in. Here's Dance and Lou setting sail on the grandstand side. Dance and Lou is closing a ton. Dance and Lou on the outside, reaching up to win the Breeders' Crown. It was Dance and Lou in 150 and two to nail Better's Wish right on the money. Given you experiences that you could, I mean, you've never dreamed of. I mean, this is amazing, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a dream come true, you know, to, to be working as a trainer. And, and there are a lot of good horse people out there that never get, you know, never get to the shot to showcase their talent. They just don't get the horse, don't get the opportunity. And, and I'm just so thankful that, that I got this horse and... And you know, it's just, it's a dream come true. Like if I came up, when I first come over, if someone said to me, what race would you like to win? Hand on my heart, it would have been the Breeders' Crown. You were emotional last week. That was an elimination to get you in here. How are you feeling tonight? I just won the Breeders' Crown. <laughs> I just can't believe I've actually done it. It's just, I'm living the dream and, and it's, it's fantastic. And I'm, I'm so thankful. It's just, it's been wonderful. Just an amazing ride. One of the cool things about horses is I feel like not only does it give you these amazing experiences, but it's all the things that go along with it. Like, you know, you've traveled all over the place. You've met a lot of new people, right? Yeah, it's it's just been an amazing experience. And I've, I've learned a lot, a lot of things over the way, you know. Um, I've never had to prep a horse for stakes races and, and try and fine tune them for a race. And, you know, we hit a few bumps along the way and I've, I've had to learn by the seat of my pants, so to speak. But, but it's, um, it's turned out and I feel I'm, I'm gradually getting better as I go. And, and I'm just thankful that the horse has got so much ability and does the rest for me. <laughs> now we want to learn about his personality and really get the nitty gritty of, um, you know, him. Like, what is he about? You know, he's he's the, the sweetest, kindest colt that you would ever come across. He doesn't have a mean bone in his body. Um, he's not overly bully. You know, when he first arrived, he was he was a little quiet. I think, you know, he, he gets very attached to the, the setting that he's at. And, and I was actually think he was a little sad to leave Canada, to be honest. And it took a little while to win him over, but, but now he's just, oh, I, I just love him. I'd marry him if I could. He'd live in the house with me. <laughs> He's, he's fantastic. He's, he's just su such a, a sweet colt and, and you know, you, you click him up and come on Lou and he just, he just gives his all and he's just a dream to have. Now, my goodness, I was going to end the interview there, but I just thought of something while we were talking. Were you a lawyer? You went to law school? Is that right? <laughs> yes, I do things ask about. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was initially I thought um, I was you know good at English and uh, 
legal studies at school and I thought well I'll either become a, a journalist or a lawyer and I had better results in legal studies so I'm like oh, I'll be a lawyer and I'll have money for my racehorses but you know the racing industry it's, it's like a drug to me I cannot get enough of it and it, it's too hard to stay away so um, I thought I'm going to give this a red hot go and if I, I can you know make it I'm not going to have to go back and be a lawyer again and the rate I'm going it doesn't look like I'll have to. Oh, I, <laughs> I am so glad that we're not seeing her in the courtroom we are seeing here at the racetrack right here. I love this. Thank you, Tawny. And um, best of luck with Dance and Lou, with everything, you know, next year including, because he'll be around next year, I'm sure. He definitely will be. And, and thanks for taking the time to interview me. I appreciate it.